In a recent video, I took apart an LED sign module. These are basically a string of modules that you mount behind signage, either with double-sided tape or a screw, and it provides illumination for the signage. But what intrigued me was the fact that this is a 240 volt bus, AC. So these units take that AC in and then use it to power just three LEDs, and I was wondering how it did it. When I opened one of the modules up, and I'll zoom down on this as a brief recap of what's in them, uh, I found there's a bridge rectifier, very minimalist, uh, a linear current regulator, and then just three LEDs and two resistors. And to actually get the high voltage, these LEDs are actually really high voltage LEDs. So I thought, let's buy some blue ones. And the reason for buying the blue ones is because they will have uh, bare LEDs in them. These ones do have blue chips in them, but they have the phosphor, and that hides what's actually inside. You'll see a slight shimmer here. There is no smoothing in that. Uh, there are no capacitors. There is a slight ripple on the camera, but not to the human eye. But anyway, I bought some LED modules, and I took one apart. And then I took a good close look at that bare LED in there. Let me show you what I found. I found, let's turn it sideways. That's going better. And I'll zoom in. Might be a bit blurry, only because I took this with the camera through a microscope. Inside are two LED blocks. And I'm guessing the reason that they've got two LED blocks is because the 120-volt version of this module system will just have one of these inside. But each of these blocks consists of one, two, three, four by one, two, three LEDs. And they're all just coupled in series. So, for instance, this gold bond comes on from one connection, goes through all these LEDs across through these LEDs, across, through these LEDs, jumps across, down through these ones, up through these ones, and down through these ones, and then to the other connection. So basically speaking, you end up with 24 LEDs in series. And those 24 LEDs have a typical four voltage of about three volts. So 24 times the three volts, that's the 72 volts I measured across it. So they are a really high voltage LEDs. Very unusual construction. I thought... It almost looks like separate chips because they don't seem 100% aligned, but maybe that's just the way they are deposited onto the material. And also these little electrodes, I thought that maybe they'll just be a sort of patch of light in the middle, but I powered one of the modules up with resistors to limit the current through it so I could look at it through the microscope and the whole surface of these gallium nitride LEDs lit evenly. Very interesting, very unusual construction. So as another recap of the circuitry in these, I shall show you the circuitry again, just in case you missed the original video. The power bus comes through, you've got live and you've got neutral. It takes a tap off in the module to a bridge rectifier to convert it to AC, from AC to DC. And then it goes through an LED resistor, LED resistor and LED. I can actually just lay them right on the, the thing here just so you can actually see the LEDs and resistors. The resistors are to limit what we decided on Patreon. We decided they must be for uh, peak current so that in the time it takes the circuitry to stabilise, these resistors will just kick in and they'll just actually nip a little bit of the uh, peak current off that to keep it to sensible levels. There's LEDs with 72 volts. There's about 3 volts dropped across the resistors because it's 6 milliamps. It all adds up uh, to a level whereby that if when you deduct it from the 240 volts, all that's being dropped across this little linear current regulator at the bottom is 18 milliamps. So it's only dissipating one or 200 watts, depending on the sort of voltage. Uh, that's very impressive. That's the equivalent of just a quarter watt resistor sort of dissipation. Very interesting circuitry. So, um, yeah, they were well worth taking a look at. I wasn't expecting that they could even fit that number of LEDs in an array, but it's just how things have gone these days. I wonder if they're, I don't think they're chip on, I don't think they're flip chip LEDs. I think they're just dedicated purely to this task. Presumably uh, designed specifically for LED lamps to keep the circuitry simple with the linear regulator and for these sign modules. But very interesting, well worth exploring and uh, buying one of those just to actually take a look at the chip.